This video is sponsored by Musician. More about them at the end of the sketch. It's the 90s. The year is 1995. Welcome back to the show. I'm speaking with our time-traveling reporter who's reporting live from the year 2020. Yeah, hi, hello. I'm stuck in the year 2020, and I would just love if we could get that machine fixed. Yeah, we do seem to have had a malfunction with it, and let me just say, we're working on getting you your foot back as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, thanks, because it's not fun here in 2020. My foot's gone, and everything smells like kombucha. What the hell is kombucha? I don't, I'm not sure. I think it might be mushroom. Room juice. I hate the sound of that. Is that what you're reporting on today? No, no, no. I'd like to talk about something called social media, which is just everywhere in the future. Oh, social media. I'm happy to hear they changed the name of it. I always thought video game had a stupid ring to it. No, actually, video games are still video games. Social media is like a bunch of websites and platforms that let people raise each other's blood pressures to dangerous levels. Sounds awful. Tell me more. Well, like one of the main ones is called Twitter, which I think I actually covered in another episode. Right, right, right. I remember Roseanne made an offensive Twitter and lost her job. Yeah, you do sometimes get in trouble for offensive Twitters, but it turns out that's just one social media platform. There are a bunch. Do they make people lose their jobs as well? That often does seem to happen, yeah, for sure. So, 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 so what are some other ones? Well, there's this really popular video one called TikTok right now that young people love. Okay, and what's, uh, TikTok about? I, d I don't know. Oh, you didn't have time to check that one out? No, I did. I j I have no idea what's going Going on there. What? How is that possible? What did it seem to be about? Well, sometimes it feels like it's for people to make lip sync videos, and other times it feels like it's for them to make dance videos, but mostly it feels like it's for the Chinese government to spy on me. Oh my god, do you think they got anything on you? Well, unless they can somehow leverage the fact that I do not understand the youth, I think we're in the clear. Well, great. So what are some other social mediums? I found another major one called Instagram. Oh, that sounds like a FedEx competitor. What's that about? Cries for attention and stolen jokes. Oh, that one makes me sad. Okay. Yeah, it can be a sad one. And there's also another video platform called YouTube. Videos, huh? What kinds of videos? Well, I clicked on a button that said trending to get an idea of what's going on there. And if that's any indication, it's mostly late night talk show clips. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I guess that's you know, kind of fun. It is if you like watching famous people try to be entertaining by doing wacky things like singing while in a car. You know, I could see that being a, a thing. It certainly seems to be in the future, yeah. Any other social things? Well, there's a really major one called Facebook. Oh, a book. That one sounds educational. No. 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 Okay. Yeah, no, Facebook has, uh, you know, ruined everything. Wow, I don't know how something with book in its name can be so evil. How did this whole thing start? Well, the precursor to Facebook was this Harvard student making a website called FaceSmash, where students can vote on whether or not their classmates were attractive. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a big yikes, for sure. Yeah, actually, if you could track down an 11-year-old boy named Mark Zuckerberg and teach him to respect women and privacy a little more, that could you know, stop a lot of crap from happening. Well, you know how much I love yelling at children, but our producer says we shouldn't interfere with timelines or something. That's fair. But what's Facebook for? It can't be that bad. Well, it used to be really popular with college students. And what's it about now? Well, now it seems like a major portion of it is for everybody's ants to share pictures of these yellow things called minions. Minions? Yeah, they're these little characters from kids' movies, and for some reason everybody's ants like to share pictures of them with quotes about drinking wine or how Mondays suck. Do these minions, like, drink wine in the movies? No, they pretty much just say banana and fall over. Wow, the future sounds very dumb. Yeah, it's very dumb. Yeah, that's accurate. Is Facebook used for anything else? Yeah, people also seem to use it to film themselves going on long racist rants inside their cars while wearing sunglasses they purchased at a gas station. Oh my god. And also just kind of in general, Facebook is used to brainwash people who don't check sources. What? How does that work? Well, like when an article is shared on Facebook, it shows up the same way whether it's from a reliable news source or from a guy that thinks there's stuff in the water that changes the sexual orientation of frogs. Well, that guy might have a point. We can't just dismiss him. I feel like we can and we should. Well, it's just that there's a whole lot of stuff being taken as fact in 2020. Like a whole group of people thinks the earth is flat. Well, I always thought it was round, but that does make a lot of sense. No, it doesn't. But you're saying there are sources backing this up. Bad sources, unreliable. Well, I'm still gonna spread the word. Please don't. 
don't, it's it's done, it's happening. Okay, well anyway, countries and organizations could also pay Facebook to show specific posts to specific people with specific interests and opinions. And what effect has that had on things? Well now everybody's just extremely dug into their personal convictions and everything is divisive now. Really? Everything? Yeah, so you can't say anything in 2020 without somebody arguing the complete opposite. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. You can say anything you want. No one's gonna argue with you. You're literally arguing with me right, right now. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay, so this is just how things are in 2020. No, it's not. Ah. So everything is just completely divisive all, all the time. Well, once in a while on social media, everyone gathers to hate on a single thing, and that's kind of beautiful. Oh, do they like rally together to fight injustice? No, it's more like when a movie trailer has bad CGI. Well, listen, if the biggest problems we're facing in 2020 are some social media arguments, I feel like we're actually in pretty good shape. Australia is literally on fire. Oh, holy sh- Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space and I want to talk to you about an online music education service called Musician. I learned a bunch of stuff within minutes of launching this app. For example, did you know that it's pronounced ukulele? I always thought it was a kalala. I've been wanting to learn how to play music for a long time, but it's hard to stay motivated. I've always found that not learning music was much easier, so I did that. And the last time I hired a teacher, it turned out to be a pyramid scheme. Now I own a pyramid and I don't know what to do with it. Musician makes learning fun and simple. It feels like you're playing a video game. You have instructions, you follow along, there are thousands of crafted lessons and exercises. You don't even need cables. The app uses the microphone of your computer or mobile device to give real-time feedback. You can learn guitar, piano, bass, ukulele, even singing. La la la. I haven't started that lesson pack to be honest. Now you can get an extended free trial of the Premium Plus package for 14 days. That gives you access to unlimited lessons, unlimited songs on as many instruments as you want. You can support Musician and my channel by hitting the link in the description and giving the 14-day trial a shot. Thanks, Musician. I can't wait to keep learning the ukulele.